Well, I have some sad news. Apparently the crickets um, were stolen off my front porch. That's all I can deduct. Um, they went out to uh, Matt, Matt V2099 um, first, well, this recent uh, batch of signatures. And then he sent them to Tau Flater Mouse and Tau Flater Mouse shipped them to me. And just last night I was like, hey, I don't, you know, I don't remember getting the package. So I, I, uh, I sent Jeff, Tau Flater Mouse, I sent Jeff a message and he said that they had been delivered last week. Well, I just got off the phone with UPS and apparently it was delivered way back like the 27th of August. And we we just didn't. I also, I have a feeling something is going on in my neighborhood because I also had ordered some thresholds for a project, some special L-shaped that had a special weather stripping on the bottom of them and I never got those either. So I have a, I'm really starting to think now that, um, and so I had tracking information for that order. Uh, so I know they were delivered. Well, I know both of the, those items were delivered to my house. And so now I'm just, I don't know, man, <laughs> I'm about to get choked up over this because I've spent and it's not me, it's not just me. I mean, everybody, I mean, these signatures go back to the shoot last year. I got most of the signatures at Eric's shoot last year. And I don't know, it was gonna go to G-Webs, it was gonna go to Cutlery Lover, and then I was gonna, well, and I was actually gonna take him back to the shoot this year to get extra signatures. So there was gonna end up being like 30 signatures on there and I'm just, uh, so anyway, um, I've opened up an investigation with uh, UPS, not that it'll do any good, but uh, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is go all to all my neighbors and see for some reason if it had been delivered there. I don't know why they wouldn't have brought it to me, but having two packages now gone, um, I, I, gotta, I may have to, I don't know, do some investigative work myself into security issues around our neighborhood. Um, you know, I mean, my front door is only about 40 feet from the, from the street. And, you know, they just lean, the UPS people just lean stuff up against the front door. And there's been several times when I've come home and saw it and I run over and grab it. You know, we don't live in a bad neighborhood, but I imagine, you know, there's so many people without work just driving around looking for, you know, hand, I don't know. I, I don't know what to think. I'm just blabbering right now because I'm a little speechless. Um, I guess I had this happen to me about a year ago and I called UPS and the package was actually at UPS. So I guess somewhere deep inside, I was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna call UPS. They're gonna say, oh, we have the package, you know, come get it, because that's what happened last time this happened. That's been, you know, a year ago or so, but that's not the case this time. And like I said, this is the second package I've, I'm missing in a month. So, um, anyway, just I'm putting this out there in the ether. Everybody say a prayer. Maybe I'll find them. Um, I'll talk to Steve McNeil and maybe get a couple more stocks and um, take them to the chute here in a few weeks or so and maybe get the, the other signatures replaced. But it's just very disappointing. One more quick thing I do want to thank uh, Jeff and Matt, um, and Tal Flater Mouse and Matt V2099 for signing them. This is in no way a, um, you know, this has nothing to do with them. They were gracious enough to sign it. It has to do with my end on and the security issues with the packages. So thanks a lot, guys. I wanted to, I didn't want to get that. I didn't want to let this video go without including that thanking you guys. 
unfortunately i may if you don't mind i may have to send some new ones out to you so if you don't know if this video seems weird to you we take uh cricket stocks and we have them signed by you know big time youtubers and then we auction them off and that money goes to a good cause and this year um, it was going to go to the families of the terror attack, uh, the survivors, uh, the surviving families from the July 16th terror attack here in Chattanooga. And so we'll just have to, I'll just have to figure it out. I'll call Steve McNeil. I'm sure he'll be happy to help us out. I'm going to see his son Matthew uh, in several weeks and maybe he can bring them and we can start over again. So, uh, thanks. Sorry for the choppy video.